The range of motion sequence takes all the major joints in the body through their full range of motion. This sequence can be used as a gentle warm-up before a longer practice or as a complete practice all by itself. Let's begin. Please ease yourself down gently onto your back on your mat. If you're unable to get down onto the floor, feel free to just lie down in your bed. Bend your knees and bring your feet about hip distance apart. Rest your arms by your sides. Close your eyes if you like, or if you prefer to leave your eyes open, keep your gaze soft, staring at nothing in particular. Relax your face and soften the inside of your mouth. Quiet your shoulders and relax the palms of your hands. When you're ready, turn your attention to your breath. We'll begin our practice by observing all the sensations of the breath as it flows into your body and out of your body. Perhaps you'll notice the coolness of the air as it enters your nostrils and feel the warmth as it exits. Notice where your breath travels. What places and spaces move with your breath? What are the qualities of your breath in this moment? Is it deep or shallow? Smooth or rough? Easy or labored? Just notice without judgment and with an attitude of kindness and self-compassion. If you find as we practice that your mind wanders off, please gently but firmly return your attention to your breath. This is the practice staying present in your body breath by breath by breath now bring your attention to your back body and notice all the points of contact between your body and the floor or the bed feel the support underneath you holding you up and recognize that there is very little you need to do to stay in this position. So see if each time you exhale, you can release your body weight into this support. With each exhalation, allow your body to become a little bit heavier and more relaxed, releasing more and more of its weight into the earth. Let each inhalation be an opportunity to fill your body with breath and allow each exhalation to be a chance to relax and release, letting go of anything that you don't need. Now let's begin to slow and deepen the breath. Bring your palms to your lower belly, resting them just below your navel. Keep your elbows heavy and your shoulders relaxed. Soften your abdomen. Inhale fully through your nose and notice how your belly rounds and your hands gently rise. Exhale gently through your nose and notice how your belly releases inward and your hands gently fall. Continue here watching this gentle rise and fall. Easy full breath in so the belly rounds and the hands gently rise. Easy full breath out so the belly relaxes down and the hands gently fall. Please don't strain or force your body knows how to do this. And if possible, breathe in and out through your nose. 
The yogis say the nose is for breathing and the mouth is for eating. But if for any reason you're unable to breathe through your nose, it's fine to use your mouth. Just keep breathing. Now let's slide the hands up to the ribs, one hand on each side of the rib cage, keeping your shoulders relaxed and your elbows heavy. Continue with this relaxed abdominal breath so that your belly rounds on inhalation and now feel the movement of breath in this middle portion of your torso, feeling the rib cage expand out to the sides like an accordion as you inhale. On the exhale, feel everything rest back. Continue at your own pace. Easy full inhalation. The belly rounds. The rib cage expands out to the sides. Easy exhalation. The ribs soften. The belly relaxes back. Finally, let's bring the hands to the upper chest resting your palms below your collarbones and let your hand position help you tune into the movement of breath here in this uppermost portion of your lungs. Still bring the breath down deep so that the belly rounds and the rib cage expands out to the sides. Now see if you can feel the area under your collarbones broaden and fill on inhalation. Then on the exhalation, everything softens down and relaxes back. Inhale, the belly rounds, the rib cage expands, the upper chest fills. Exhale, everything softens back down. When you're ready, move one hand to the lower belly and leave one hand on the upper chest and see if you can tune in to this full and complete three-part breath. You might visualize your lungs as two big balloons and see if you can feel the movement in six directions up and down, front to back, side to side. Please avoid struggle or strain if you feel uncomfortable or lightheaded back off. Just breathe as fully and deeply as you comfortably can, filling your lungs completely with breath, belly rounds, ribcage expands, upper chest fills, then emptying your lungs completely, everything softens back down. Just filling, just emptying. Please finish the breath that you're on then allow your breath to come back into its own natural rhythm. And as we begin to move through our posture practice, see if you can keep your breath flowing. Avoid holding your breath. If you find that you're holding your breath during any pose, it may be a sign that you're straining. So back off the pose until you can breathe easy and fully. Please challenge yourself in each posture, but avoid strain. Take each movement to the point where you feel mild tension. Stay present to the sensations that unfold and allow your breath to help you go deeper into the posture. Let your arms rest at your sides. And when you're ready, gently begin turning your head from side to side. So your chin moves toward one shoulder, then back to the center, then toward the other shoulder. Move slowly and luxuriously and notice the sensations associated with this movement. Does your head rotate further in one direction than the other? Do you have a preference for moving to one side? Just notice. Now, bring your head back to the center. Take an easy breath in. And on your exhalation, turn your head to the right as far as it will comfortably go so that your chin moves in the direction of your right shoulder. And rest here for a few breaths. Press your left shoulder down 
and send your breath into the left side of your neck, inviting softness and release. Keep the inside of your mouth soft and quiet. Then as you're ready, on an inhalation, bring your head back to the center, lining your chin up with a little notch in your collarbone. On an exhalation, turn your head to the left as far as it will comfortably go, moving your chin in the direction of your left shoulder. Rest here for a few breaths. Press your right shoulder down into the floor and send your breath into the right side of your neck, inviting softness and release. When you're ready, inhale back to the center. Now let's take an easy breath in and on your exhalation hug your right knee in towards your chest holding your leg behind the right thigh. If this is a strain on your shoulders please use a yoga strap or an old necktie or bathrobe belt to catch your leg. Stay here for a few breaths drawing your right thigh in toward your rib cage each time you exhale. Feel the stretch in your back and in your buttocks. Continuing to hug your leg, begin slowly drawing circles in the air with the toes of your right foot to wake up your right ankle. Circle in one direction a few times, then reverse direction, drawing a few more slow, easy circles, going the other way. Finish the one that you're on, then relax your foot. On an inhalation, extend your right leg up toward the sky, straightening your leg as much as you comfortably can. As you exhale, bend your knee so your foot comes back down by your buttocks. Now inhale and straighten the leg back up, foot extend, extending toward the sky, and exhale and bend the knee. Continue with this movement a few more times, synchronizing your movement through with your breath. Inhale the leg up, exhale it down. Easy does it. The next time your leg is in the up position, please stay here and lift the sole of your foot toward the sky, inviting your leg to be as straight as it will comfortably go today. From here, flex your foot so your heel lifts up and your toes reach back toward your nose. Now point your foot so your toes reach up to the sky. Keep your breath flowing as you continue this movement a few more times. Flex the foot, point the foot, flex the foot, point the foot, now when you flex, spread your toes apart, and when you point, make a fist with your toes. Continue this a few more times, bringing some movement into your feet, and then relax your foot and draw some big circles in the air, first in one direction and then in the other direction. Now, as you're ready, please bend your right knee and bring your right foot to your left thigh. Take a few breaths here and notice where you feel this stretch. Maybe in your buttocks or your hips or your glutes. For some of us, this is enough. If you want more sensation, Pick up your left foot and keep your head on the ground as you reach between your legs and hug your left thigh in. Feel free to use your strap if this is useful. Invite your right knee to move away from your body as you draw the left thigh in. Take a few easy breaths here, inviting each breath to help relax any places of tension or tightness. Then as you're ready, bring both feet back to the ground. Rest here for a few breaths, relaxing and releasing. Notice if you feel any difference between the right side that we've just challenged and the left leg which hasn't yet had its turn. 
So let's do the other side. Take an easy breath in and on your exhalation hug your left knee into your chest, holding your leg behind the left thigh. Remember to use a strap to catch your leg if you need to for comfort, keeping the shoulders relaxed. Stay here for a few breaths, drawing your left thigh in the direction of your rib cage with each exhalation, stretching out your back and your buttocks. Then as you continue to hug your leg in, begin drawing big lazy circles in the air with the big toe of your left foot, moving slowly with intention, first in one direction, then reversing to circle in the opposite direction. Now relax your foot and on an inhalation extend your left leg up toward the sky, straightening your leg as much as you comfortably can. And on an exhalation bend your knee and bring your foot back towards the buttocks. Continue a few more times, inhale straightening the leg and exhale bending the knee. Remember, it's okay to keep the knee slightly bent if you need to. Just try to maintain the sensation of the left foot extending up to the sky at the same time that you root the buttocks down toward the ground. And the next time your leg is in the up position, please stay here. From here, flex your left foot so the heel lifts up to the sky and the toes reach back toward the nose. Then point your foot so the toes reach up to the sky. Continue this a few more times. Flex the foot, point the foot, flex the foot, point the foot. Now when you flex your foot, spread your toes wide. And when you point your foot, make a fist with your toes. Continue with a few more breaths. And when you're ready, relax your foot and draw some big circles in the air, one way and the other, being sure to keep your breath flowing. Don't hold your breath. Circling one way, then the other. Now let's relax the foot, bend the left knee, and bring your left ankle onto your right thigh. Notice how this feels, breathing into wherever you feel this stretch. If you're ready for more sensation, pick up your right foot, reach between your legs, and hug your right thigh in, drawing it towards your chest. Keep your head on the, shoulder, on the ground and your shoulders relaxed. Breathe. Stay here for a few more breaths. Then as you're ready, bring both feet back to the ground and rest here for a couple of breaths relaxing, releasing, and letting go. Now let's wake up the arms and the upper back. Rest your arms at your sides and on an inhalation extend your arms up and overhead so the backs of your hands come to the floor behind you or as close to the floor as they will comfortably go. On an exhalation, stretch your arms back up and bring them down beside you. Continue with this simple movement, inhaling the arms up and overhead, backs of the hands moving toward the floor behind you, then exhaling the arms back up and down along your sides. Synchronize your movement with your breath as best you can, not rushing either the movement or the breath waking up your shoulders and your upper back. Inhaling up and back. Exhaling forward and down. See if you can move slowly and with intention as, you, as if you're moving through water. How slow can you go? And enjoy your breath. The next time you come to the place with your arms up and overhead, the backs of their hands on the floor behind you, rest here. Feel free to bend your elbows as much as you need to for comfort. Or, if you prefer, extend your arms out to your sides at shoulder height, 
whichever arm position is more comfortable. Now let's take an easy breath in and on an exhalation drop your knees to the left and turn your gaze to the right. If you like, place a folded towel or pillow under your knees to ease out your back. And then rest here for a few breaths. On each inhalation, feel your rib cage expanding. And on each exhalation, relax, release, and let go just a little deeper into your twist. Feel your shoulder blades releasing down into the floor. Easy, smooth breaths. One more breath here. Then as you're ready, come back to the center and square yourself off. Then on an exhalation, drop your knees to the right and turn your gaze to the left. Relax your shoulders and your face. Relax your brain. Take a few breaths here, allowing each exhalation to take you just a little deeper into the twist. One more breath here. Then make your way back to the center. Square yourself off. Now, with your feet on the ground and both knees bent, take a nice full breath in and on your exhalation, hug both knees in toward your chest, holding lightly onto your kneecaps or behind your thighs, or else catching the legs with a strap if that's more comfortable. On your inhalation, feel your belly and chest fill with breath and expand so that your arms straighten and your thighs gently float away from your body. On your exhalation, hug your belly toward your spine as you bend your elbows and draw your thighs in toward your rib cage, stretching out your lower back. Let's do this a few more times, moving with the breath. Inhale and fill with breath, arms straightening and thighs gently floating away. Exhale and bend the elbows, drawing the thighs in toward the chest and hugging the belly to the spine. Continue this gentle movement at your own pace and feel the easy pumping action that's so helpful to the digestion. Inhale, expand, thighs float away. Exhale, draw in, belly to spine, thighs toward chest. When you've finished, release your legs so your feet come back to the floor. Please take a moment to relax and notice how you feel. What sensations do you notice in your physical body? Are there any emotions arising? Any thoughts in the thinking mind? Just notice what's here and let it be. If you're ready to end your practice now, take a few minutes to rest quietly. Legs extended or knees bent, whichever is more comfortable. Feel the support of the floor or the bed holding you up and invite your body weight to drop into this support. For the next few minutes, nothing to do nothing to fix or figure out. For the next few minutes, nothing to do but relax and release, surrendering completely and fully to the earth. <laughs>